In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you one of my uh, top secret baits for fishing the river for smallmouth. Doesn't matter if it's summer, fall, or spring. This bait will get you bit. And I will show you and explain why in this video. Also, I'll be using one of my favorite underspins that has been infamous for the past year across my channel on my Facebook page. You guys should all know it, the Wicked Willow. Pairing it with the Winnow, the Wicked Willow Winnow. Love saying that. I'm gonna be showing you guys how effective that is while down here, it's Susquehanna River. Now let's get into this video. first time to channel my name is Chris and this is Lifeaholics Fishing where I'll be bringing you the best that the Northeast has to offer as far as fishing goes. If you find value in that type of content please consider subscribing. As I said we're down Susquehanna River. I'm actually up at uh, one of my favorite spots that I did a video of earlier in the year actually it was like winter fishing and I was fishing with an A-Rig and I caught a northern pike. You guys if you haven't seen that video I will have it up here in the scorecard and also down in the description you got to check that out. That was a fun time could not believe it definitely a great time i'm actually across the river on the other side fishing the bank as usual though Just going for smallies i'm right at the same bridge i love this area lots of riprap we got a really nice eddy here so i am very confident that we'll be able to get into some smallmouth. let me get the ones that are known out the way so the wicked willow winnow if you don't know the nico baits winnow well where have you been I have a full playlist. Again, it'll be up in the scorecard. I have a full playlist on how to rig it, my favorite ways of rigging it, so much more. It is a revolutionary swim bait. It's definitely the most durable. It is just, it's not like anything you've ever seen. Biodegradable material, which means it's safe for any fish. If you snap off, which is the only way you actually have to replace these things because of how durable they are, it's not gonna hurt the fish. It doesn't expand or hurt the environment at all. That is one of the crazy benefits of all the Nico baits. Also, it's buoyant. It floats so well. You can do it top water, throw it on EWG, and you can use this swim bait as a top water, which a lot of people do. But today I'm talking about my favorite way to fish it for smallmouth. I'm either using it on a weighted EWG, a VMC, or right here, the Wicked Willow Winnow. Tungsten, oh, you're just, you're not getting better sensitivity than with tungsten, period. This one here, this is a three yacht on an eighth ounce Wicked Willow with a nice Willow Blade underspin. I'm using the Fusion Winnow and it's on a spinning combo. Now I could, I have thrown it on my casting reel, but I just found that it, it's kind of overkill. I need a little bit more of a finesse setup. So what I'm throwing it on is just my Matsua, uh, <laughs> my six foot, six inch Matsua medium and I'm pairing that with the 13 fishing Source K reel. Got six pound trilene on. Yes, I, I don't wanna hear about it. Trilene, yes, whatever, but guess what? It's tried and true. I have confidence in it and I just wanted straight, easy pickings for that. Now what can my top secret one be? I will give you a hint. I did a video earlier this year. Uh, I was pond hopping with Doug Roberts, had it on a drop shot. Got a really, really nice largemouth. This one right here. Here, look at it from the drone footage. Check this out. This largemouth, oh, I got it on a drop shot using the 2.5 inch Nico Bates Octopus. Now I'm gonna I'm by pause for a second just to just to let you laugh a little bit. Get it out your system because you're gonna see why I use it and see how effective it is. I actually throw it a few different ways. You could either put it on a tube head because it does have the hollow center you can stretch it out and put it on that. Or my preferred way is to throw it on a net head. And all I'm doing is I'm putting the octopus on that, on a net, and I'm fishing it like a tube. That's it, think about it guys, a tube. If you guys tube fish, which if you fish the river, you definitely should be using a tube. Small mouths go nuts for it. A tube is supposed to Im imitate a crawfish with no claws. That's why it was created. <clears throat> an octopus is a tube except with longer tentacles and just so much better flowing action. You just, you, you're not gonna believe it. Like once you see it, like I'm gonna show you a little bit. I can't, I, I don't have my underwater, uh, my, you know, my camera's protective case to put underwater, but I do show you from above, just the action it gives. 
when you bring it through the water, the tentacles, when you stop, it immediately just pops up and flows open. And that's what I'm gonna be using. You might not think it, but a tube, guys, a tube is, you know, a bread and butter for smallmouth. So why not an octopus? The 2.5 inch is perfect, it's boom. And don't be afraid to modify it. You know, I, I'll even tell you here in a minute, you can cut it down so that way the tentacles aren't as long. Personally, I like them up because it coming through, it swims really nice. And when you stop, it immediately poof, just opens up and oh, you'll see. I'm gonna show you, show you here in a second. Actually, you know what? Enough of this talking. Let's get fishing and I'll show you how well it works. This here, it's a 2.5 inch Nico octopus. I have it on a net head, just like a regular tube, fish for smallmouth. And you would fish it the same way. Pop, pop, let it sit. Pop, pop, let that, let those tentacles flail out. Pop, pop. Oh. There we go. Haha! Told ya. Yeah, boy. No! Quick release. All right, come on, buddy. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that was a quick release. But as you saw, <laughs> on the octopus. That was a really weak, I didn't, I didn't even feel him. He barely grabbed that. So, I, I knew I barely had a hook in him, unfortunately. But, that was a land. I just didn't get to get a picture or anything with it. So, let's get back out there. And I did feel it. Like I said, this, this uh, Nano X braid is fantastic. I just... I knew I was coming through this grass here and I wasn't sure if I was hung up again or what. It was weird, it was like a light, a very light hit. Okay, so I want to show you how I set this up. Now I'm using a, a Wicked Ned. It's their one-fifth. It's either one-fifth or one-sixth. It's their bigger one. The only reason I'm using this big of size is because it's all I have left. I thought I brought my other ones, but I did not. As you see, nice, nice strong hook on these. And this right here is what's going to hold this up. Now, for you guys who have not seen them before, there is a hole. It is partially hollow all the way down through the middle of these. So what's nice is right in between, right dead center, between the eyes. That's where you put your hook with dead center. And you bring it all the way up. And you'll know if you're dead center because that, that hollow center will bring you all the way up. And you bring it down through the tentacles. And bam, right up. That keeper's gonna hold it. And that's what you get. 
Now it's nice about these that you don't realize is that they're they're just like a tube. You could even, if you wanted to, cut off some of the tentacle if you'd like. I don't. I like it the full length. I, I believe it gives it a really nice action. I'm not sure we're going to be able to see it in the water here. But those tentacles just flare up so nicely. So I know I'm zoomed in quite a bit, but let's see if you can see it. When this goes down, those tentacles just, they pop up so nicely. And, oh, they really did a good job of when, when bringing through the water, it just flows so nice. And you let it go and boom. And that's why you want to go dead center because that will keep it right up like that. Now you can fish it just like a Ned or you can fish it like a tube. It's really, it's up to you. I personally suggest mixing it up a bit. I like going pop, pop, let it sit, pop, pop. Oh. Pop, pop, let it sit. Let those tentacles flare up. I'm only gonna make another couple casts here. I'm actually gonna switch over to the craw for a few and then I'm gonna go down here to this eddy. Now the nice thing about these wicked neds being that it's tungsten, you feel everything, everything. That along with a good breed to fluoro combo, you have really high sensitivity so you know everything that you're hitting, whether it's rock, Grass, weeds, doesn't matter. You know it. Mm. All right, time to bring out the craw for a few before I head down to this eddy. same as before that's why I said I love these ball head jigs these gremlins are great they fit the uh, they don't just fit the claw the craws perfectly but they really do fit the winnows and everything really well so let's see how we do this in the mud bug I threw on for now let's see I did go from I had a uh, magma on let's see how uh, see how mud bug does mud bugs a really strong color a lot of people love it So I'm coming down to this different area over here. You see I got a really nice eddy here, has some really, really still water. And I'm right at the edge of a point that comes out pretty far, which is a win-win. So I can fish both sides, the rapids and the still water, find them and start bringing them in. Now I, I snapped off my craw on my gremlin so I put on another favorite combo which is a winnow with a wicked willow and then I still have my octopus on my other so I'm gonna start with this the wicked willow first let's see what we can do I think in this still water it might actually do pretty nice it swims so well giving that extra little bit of flash. 
I got a fusion winnow on this and uh, it's funny because this is the same winnow I put on when I first when the windows first came out that's how long I've had this dang winnow so far now I see I got some some timber out here There we go. Oh yeah. Come on. Oop. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Come on, come on. Woo! Look at that! Woo! Look at this big boy. Okay. Look at that. Okay, okay, I got you. Where's it hooked in at? Right at the mouth. All right, buddy, come on. Yeah. Woo! That is a big one. Yeah, buddy. On the wicked willow winnow. That's a nice size small mouth. The wicked winnow. Yeah. That's a good guy right there. All right, let's get him into the water. All right. And he's off. Yeah, boy. All right. So, I guess that's what I caught it on. And look at that, it goes right down so nice. Pop it right back up and look at it. It's ready to fish again. That was a nice hit. And now, again, this is the fusion color. Oh, actually, yeah, I was fishing right here. <laughs> That's the fusion on the Wicked Willow, which is the uh, tungsten underspin by Wicked Weights. All right, so it's coming up and down a little bit. So what I'll do, I'll actually take it off and rehook it up a little bit more. Look at that. Perfecto. So I was just doing the steady retrieve here. Or sorry, no, I wasn't doing a steady retrieve. I was doing a stop and go kind of retrieve. So I was fishing the rapids and then I was fishing the eddy. And I got that one out of the, like a little bit bef like after the, uh, the rip wrap here on the octopus, but I uh, wasn't really getting anything else. So I moved down, I'm not really getting anything over here, so I went through the middle, and that's where I got the hit. Now also for you guys that didn't know, you don't just have to throw a swim bait on these underspins either. You could also throw crawfish as well. Any type of creature bait would do really well too, so don't be afraid to mix it up. 
this is just my personal preference for when it comes to uh, the river pretty much so I like a nice swim bait on it There we go. Oh, he's a small little guy. Look at this small guy. Aha. There you go. Look at that. Small little guy. Oh. And again, I just switched it up from the Wicked Willow, went back to the octopus, and I'm in here in this eddy, and he lightly crabbed it. But the small guys, big guys, they're all fun. Lots of fun. And that was crazy, because he ran with it, too. Like, really ran with it. That's it, guys. So I had that one, you know, quick release, and then had two more on the eye. Uh, on the octopus and then that nice oh that two pounder on the wicked willow winnow like i said all i did is cast it out i legit waited what three seconds and then started retrieving and boom it smacked it i was just surprised it wasn't a more aggressive it was like a more of a lethargic hit but as you guys saw that smallmouth is very very healthy so either way i'm happy with today's uh today's event i, I was only able to get down here for about an hour but I've been really sick. Anybody who's been following me on Facebook, on my page, uh, a lot of the Nico guys, which everybody who, you know, commented on my post, wishing me, you know, all the best and, you know, sending your prayers over to, uh, you know, for me to get better. I appreciate that more than you ever know. And I, it just, it's a really great feeling to, to know I have all of you guys supporting me out there and you guys have my back and I'll be forever grateful for that. So thank you guys. But yeah, like I said, being sick, I forced myself to get out today because I, it, it was just, it's such a nice day out. And before it's full on, you know, fall, which is what I really love, you know, I wanted to make sure I forced myself to get out, get some fresh air. It did help quite a bit. Plus catching some fish, it always helps you feel better, right guys? So again, if you like this video, please smash that like button. Make sure you comment below if there's a video that you'd like to see next, if there's anything you need help with when it comes to bank fishing, especially with the fall coming up, the transition. If there's anything you guys need help with, please let me know in the comments below and it will be one of my next videos. So make sure you comment. Besides that, if you know someone else who would uh, enjoy these videos, share and hit that subscribe button with the little bell next to it. And the bell is important so that way you're notified when my new videos come up. If you don't hit that bell, you're not going to know. So red button, bell, and that's it. Again, guys, thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.